Sheesh, you would not believe the day I had. Since I started this whole crime fighting thing, my schedule's been completely full. Sorry that I'm late, by the way. <sighs> I swear, these criminals never take a break. It's like everyone in the city is trying to do something horrible today. I'm just not getting it. Is this some type of special villain holiday or something? Hey, I wouldn't know. I just started doing this, what, a month ago? God, I didn't think it was going to be this intense. With all the other superheroes we have, I was thinking, oh, I'd get like the really small fries. But I'm getting everyone. Top tier, low tier, mid tier, it doesn't matter. Everyone's trying to become my arch enemy and I, I don't get it. Oh, also, check this out, okay? My name's supposed to be Amazonia, right? Well, check this out. I hear that people on the street are calling me Thunder Thighs, Miss Thick, Head Crusher, and some people are even calling me Mommy. Where did they get that from? How does Amazonia transfer into any of those things? <sighs> Is this some type of inside joke that I'm not getting? Is there some villain that's orchestrating all of this? I don't know. Oh, and to top it all off, some of the people that I've been fighting lately have been telling me what their weakness is, and can you guess what that weakness is? Oh, you're gonna be shocked about this one. Having me squeeze their head between my thighs. What do you make of all of that? I'm being 100% fetishized, and people are willingly going to jail because of it. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Now, I'm not complaining, I can put these people into jail, but come on. This is the reason? I would think my actual strength would intimidate people and an actual fighting would occur. No, they are at this point begging me to crush them. What? And one of the villains asked their henchmen to record it. I, I, fe I fear the thought of where that video is now. I fear it. But what the heck? No one ever told me that when I signed up to save my city, that this would be happening. No one told me that this would be a possibility. And you know what? I think before me, it wasn't real. It would never have happened. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. And I don't know how to feel about it. <sighs> hmm. What do you think? If you're in my shoes, you know, you're a tall Amazonian woman. You're incredibly thick. Apparently you have the juiciest thighs this side of the Mississippi. What would you do in my case? You would keep fighting? But I don't think I'm actually getting into real fights. Like, I think they're... What's the word? <sighs> yeah, yeah, I think they're either fixed or rigged or something. Something's not right, you know? <laughs> Something is not right at all. Let me walk you through one of the fights, yeah? I burst through the skylight and I landed directly on somebody. You would think they would start like fighting or like punching at me, right? I started punching at them, expecting for it to happen. And do you know what they did? They were taking it. And when I slowed down, they had a smile on their face and then asked me to continue. I don't think a villain, no matter how sadistic or masochistic that they are, would, would say that. Why sadistic? Well, I was fighting somebody where I was beating them and they were smiling, not because I think they were getting turned on, but more so they were thinking about what was going to happen to me once I stopped beating them. Like, I think the idea of me getting attacked was turning them on. Point is, that I don't think that's something that happens typically in the everyday hero's like, agenda. I don't think they are making their enemies horny that's just a me thing, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I, I'm just not cut out for this type of stuff. Uh, here's another example, by the way. I'm chasing after a bank robber, right? And I lunge at them and I put them in a chokehold. They, they just sat there. They just sat there letting it happen. They did not try to squirm. They didn't try to move with all the power that they had until they passed out. Like, they were just letting it happen. When I first started doing this, People would try to fight back. And now, I don't know. 
Like how many times can I say, I don't know? It's not making any sense. It's not making any sense. They're passed out with a smile on their face and a noticeable dent in their pants. I just, ugh. <sighs> yeah, of course it was an outward dent. Like what else would it be? <sighs> look, look, I don't think they had a gun. I really don't think so because they would have pulled that thing out. But no, I think they were having too much fun. Well, baby, what say you? If you were a villain coming up against me, how would you react? Be honest. No, no, seriously, be honest. I want to know exactly how you would react to seeing me for the first time. Okay, yeah, you'd be afraid. Wait, there's more? What? You understand where they're coming from? Yeah, you think I'm sexy, but... Mm. Now, are you just saying that because we're together? Well, it makes sense that you want me to crush you, but it's not in, like, the crime-stopping type way. It's more like the sexual way. Talk about the crime-fighting way. The exact same? Really? Really? Does it have something to do with my outfit? I knew I should have went with pants instead of a one-piece. All I wanted to do was be comfortable while I was fighting crime, and lo and behold, I started some... God, I don't even know what I started. <laughs> I mean, it's a crime spree, but it's easily solvable. It's... <sighs> I never thought this would happen. Wait, what? Really? No, 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 let's, let's talk about this. You've been thinking about becoming a villain? Just so I could fight you? Why? Well, of course I don't want to play a fight with you. I might accidentally crush you. I don't want to crush my significant other. I know you desperately want it. It's been pretty obvious since we've met. But come on. Like, you really want to risk dying just so I can crush you? <laughs> Baby, are you serious? Look, if you're that desperate enough to become a villain just so I can, you know, rough you up like that, then I guess, I guess I'll do it. It's better than you going to a life of crime, no matter how fake it would actually be. Well, I mean, baby, you're kind of weak. Not even kind of. Like, I'm trying to be nice. You're, you're weak. You really are. You can't really fight anybody. Um... Now, that may just be me assuming that because I can fight you and subdue you very easily. Um, but yeah, I don't really think you can fight anybody. Oh, come on now, babe. Do you really think you can take on anybody? Okay, now I know something's up. You can't take me. I know for a fact you can't take me. You want me to prove you wrong? Uh, I wouldn't want to, however, I mean, I don't want you to live in a fantasy world where you think that's possible at the same time. Yeah, so, uh, wait, wait a minute. Is this your way of trying to get me to actually fight you like you've always been trying to make happen? Uh, you sneaky, sneaky thing. Come on. <laughs> All right. I will roughhouse with you in the way that you desire. And yes, that means to the point where you're about to pass out, or probably do pass out, but on one condition. You help me find a new outfit. Oh, don't whine, don't go aw. You see what this outfit's doing to people. And I guess it may not just be the outfit, but it's certainly not helping things. Uh, I don't really know. Something a bit more menacing? Long leather gloves and boots? Sounds like you want me to be a dominatrix. I think that would give them more of a reason to cave during a fight. Hey, I don't know what these people are into, but going by how you're speaking, probably the same things you're into. Yeah, now you go silent. Mm-hmm. Got something to say, baby? Have some other special interests you'd like to share with me? 
Don't back up. Baby, come back here. Baby. You know what? Better yet, I'm not even going to ask you. I'm going to consult the internet. Why do you think I shouldn't? Look, if anyone knows anything, it's the people of the internet. So let's see. And Sonia. Wait. What is R34? What is that? It just automatically popped up in the search bar. Well, I should probably hold up. What's wrong? Don't click on it? Why? Well, if you don't tell me the reason why, I'm going to end up doing it. Is it something illegal? No? Then I'm clicking on it. Okay. <laughs> what? What is this? What is this? And why is the search bar saying that it's been accessed today? Baby? What is this? What is... What are they depicting me doing? I'm stomping on like a whole city. What is this? Why am I naked and wrestling somebody? Why is this happening? <sighs> Baby. Have you been going on these sites while I've been gone all day? <laughs> Why do you hide these things from me? I'm not mad. You should have just been honest. Why get drawn art when you have the real thing? Ugh. Look, I think I've been crime fighting a little bit too much and I haven't been taking care of your needs. So we're going to fix that right now, okay? No, I'm not mad. I should be because you kept it a secret, but I'm not mad. Now, come on. Let's do something that's probably already been drawn on this website. Do you want me to squeeze you between my thighs or not? Then get in the bedroom.